So in this problem, we're told that if x is greater than 0, what is one possible solution to the equation above? So we're given this equation, which is x cubed times x squared minus 5 is equal to minus 4x. And so what we're trying to do is find a solution to this equation. So basically, we're going to be solving for x. And so what we want to do to solve this is the first thing that we should do is just expand it, right? So we have this x cubed times x squared minus 5. So if you ever see something like that, just multiply it out and try and simplify it. So x cubed times x squared is going to be x to the fifth. Because when you multiply x or variables together with the same base, you can add their exponents. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And then x cubed times minus 5 is going to be minus 5x cubed. And then this is equal to minus 4x. So now we got it like this. Uh, what we want to do is get 0 to be on this side, and we're going to move the minus 4x on this side, which is just going to allow us uh, to factor when we solve it. So minus 5x cubed, and we're adding 4x to both sides. So plus 4x plus 4x. So now we've got it like this, and we got it where it equals 0. What we try and do is we want to get it in a form where it can be factored. And so usually what you want to do is make sure your last term is uh, just a constant and not doesn't have an x next to it. So we want to get rid of that x. And we also want to make sure these are going to be even, because when they're even, and like usually we have like x squared minus x, or plus x, right? But in this case, we're going to have to the 4 and to the 2 when we take out the x. So what we want to do is factor out an x. So factor out the x. And then what we want to do is change all these. So it's going to be x to the 4th, right? Because x times x to the 4th is x to the 5th. And then we factor out an x of minus 5x cubed, which is going to become minus 5x squared. Because x times minus 5x squared is minus 5x cubed. And then plus 4 right, because x times 4 is 4x, and so all this is going to be equal to 0. And so now what we want to do is uh, solve this for 0. And uh, keep in mind that like we could just plug in 0 here, and that would work, because something times 0 is just 0. But it has to be greater than 0. That's what our solution is asking. So it wouldn't make sense to do that. What we got to do is actually get a number greater than 0. So if you notice this, this is going to be factorable. So usually when you factor something out, you have parentheses like this. And we're going to have x plus something and then times x minus something. But in this case, we have x to the fourth and x squared. So notice that when you factor something, your first two terms, or the terms in front, got to multiply to this. So x squared times x squared is going to be x to the fourth. So we're going to use x squared instead of x like we normally do. And then what you're going to want to do is we got to find two numbers that multiply to 4 but add to minus 5. And those are going to be the numbers we put here and here. So let's think about two numbers that add to 4, or multiply to 4, but add to minus 5. So we could try uh, 2 and 2, those add to 4, um, or those multiply to 4. But if we add them, they don't equal minus 5. Uh, we could try 4 and 1. Those multiply to 4, but they don't add to minus 5. They add to positive 5. And so if we do minus 4 and minus 1, minus 4 times minus 1 is 4, and we add them, we get minus 5. So these two numbers would work. So we're going to choose those two numbers and plug them in. So x squared minus 4, x squared minus 1. And then what we're going to want to do is solve. And so these are pretty easy if you're just solving for x squared minus 4 equals 0. If you plus 4 on both sides, you'll get x squared equals 4. Then you square root. Uh, you're going to get it equals 2, right? Well, it can be plus or minus 2. But keep in mind, uh, it has to be greater than 0. So any negative value isn't going to work. So if we plug in 2 here, it's going to become 0. And then in this one, it's 1 and minus 1, right? Because 1 squared equals uh, 1, and then we minus 1 equals 0. Minus 1 would work, but we can't uh, choose a value less than 0. So our two values are going to be 2 and 1. So those are going to be two possible values for this answer. And so they, just, they say just to choose 1. They just want one possible one. So you can choose either 2 or 1. In this case, I'm just going to choose 1. But yeah, so your either answer or your answer to this could be 2 or 1. I'm just going to go with 1, so the answer to this problem is going to be 1.